Live from Town Square Towers at the heart of the Jersey Shore, wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Get up, get out, do something. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, 710, Monday, September 19th. 74 degrees, getting up to 75 today. Thunderstorm, WOBMM 1160, 1310, News Talk Radio, streaming live on the radio, pop app, and WOBMM.com. 732-505-1160. Join the conversation. We are now joined by Mark Cunningham and Noel Carino in studio talking to us about hashtag we are tr is there a hashtag or isn't there a hashtag oh there's a hashtag oh okay yes. we are tr so i'm seeing this thing popping up everywhere right like it's uh it's like we're trying to do this whole like outer banks obx thing uh you know i was talking to zach and i saw uh you know i like the little bumper stickers is a 26.2 and then I saw one that said 50K, which that scares me. Uh, so tell me, where is this We Are TR movement coming from? What's going on here? Well, the We Are TR movement itself had come from um, the chamber in part, from the Greater Toms River Chamber of Commerce. Originally, the term We Are TR started with the Toms River Regional Schools and, and the kids who chant that with their school spirit. We love that. But we did put on a contest for a feel-good hashtag um, about Toms River this time last year. And a teacher from Intermediate East, Jess Pomeroy, submitted We Are TR, and he won. And we've been promoting it ever since, since the Halloween parade this, you know, last year. Cool. And so now uh, I'm seeing that we are, uh, We Are TR, that we are moving kind of now into the next stage of this, uh, of this kind of, I, I don't know what, what to even call it, this movement, right? Uh, okay. This movement. Of uh, of of uh, you know of self love and self adoration. Uh, so what what is the next what's the next level here? What's the next step? What's going on? Well, good morning, Jeremy. Go, um, good morning, Mark. I'm sorry. So on the uh, the we are TR uh, background that Noel has covered, that turned into something that dovetailed with the project we were working with on the Economic Development Committee and the Chamber of Commerce, Greater Towns River Chamber of Commerce. Um, so the idea is that uh, if we can combine our resources, if we can identify resources that we didn't ordinarily know we had in our community, um, that if we can bring those out in a new way, then new things will happen. So the forum that's coming up that we're speaking about this morning is about, oh, uh, I suppose, a platform for people to come out and say, hey, what would we, uh, what would it look like if is going to be the, the monthly question. And the first one, which I suppose we can talk about in a minute, is about what would it look like if downtown was known as a river arts district. So who's that going to bring out? What resources are we going to see? What uh, arts educators, what uh, artists, what musicians, what poets, what business owners, what property owners, uh, people from the county? Who has something to contribute to a conversation like that? And then see, see what comes out of it. Now, Mark, first, I want to I want to uh, I want to first of all say I love the word dovetail. Right. I think it's a, I think it's a really nice way of saying connect. I really like that. That's uh, well done. Thank you. Um, now, I think it's I think when we start talking about, you know, T Tom's River and, you know, and reimagining it in this, that and the other thing. And I think when you start talking about it, particularly, I think it's important for you to tell your story a little bit because the accent is clearly, you know, South Jersey. Yes. Right. Is, I mean, yeah. much deeper South Jersey. <laughs> so I think we have to make sure that we, we we have a full understanding. And I think a really for you, I think you being what I'm going to call, and I mean this with love, an outsider here right. to some extent, I think it's important to, the, uh, to the, the, the lens that you use to see Tom's River. So why don't you talk a little bit about your story and how you ended up here uh, in, in our great town? Sure, yeah. Uh, I'm from Tullamore in Ireland, where the great uh, Tullamore Dew whiskey comes right. from. Um, I've been coming <laughs> back. Uh, by the way, I, I love... I love any town that's known for its whiskey. Right. I mean, that's really what uh, that that yeah, right you, away is a telltale you, sign. You can yeah. keep your maple syrup or your <laughs> beef production. We have <laughs> Tullamore too. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, um, so yeah, the, I'm from Ireland. Uh, I married a Tom's River girl who I met in Ireland, and we lived there for 15 years. And um, we were always back and forth to Tom's River, and we always loved coming here. Um, but I guess that gives you an outsider's perspective when you visit a town for a couple of months a year at uh, Christmas and in the summer you, you think about it in a slightly different way than when you, if you live here full time. But we've been living for, here full time for over three years now and since we came back we've tried to get involved in different things um, that show how we appreciate this town and it really is a super town. 
Um, there's so many super people. There's great schools. We've got all these amenities all around us, like the water. And, uh, you know, how, how do we make it better? How do we just help uh, move the, the needle a little bit? And, you know, you wouldn't think that way unless you met people around you that were um, in the prime of their business careers and the, in the prime of their lives who, who think the same way, who want to make Towns River better, whether it's through the chambers, whether it's through the various nonprofits we see around, whether it's being an educator, um, all the different things that people do when they get out of bed every morning to, um, to make Towns River better. Um, it's easy when you come up with a new idea. And Noel and I have been here before. We work on two different uh, projects together outside our, our normal day jobs. Um, the, the listening room, which we've sp spoken about here before, and now the WeRTR project and the forum. And, you know, whenever you have an idea, people just put up their hand and say, yeah, let's do that. It's right. great. It's a, it's, a super, it's a really positive town. So before we get to uh, what Conversations and Cocktails is really all about, um, I'd like to uh, – uh, I, I, I really think we need to give a little bit of background because you're working really with uh, with another group from mm -hmm. outside of the area that's helping us kind of uh, – helping us navigate through reimagining the town to some, to some degree. So talk about that for a second. Okay. So um, in February of 2016, we started working with a group out of Purdue University. Um, they work on projects um, deemed agile strategy sessions and projects – where um, they go to towns that need to uh, elevate or, or change things or want to do those things, and they work them through the process of getting there. And so they've done this in many, many places, um, Asheville, North Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, Flint, Michigan, um, and they were gracious enough to come out here and, and speak with us. We um, will be working with them relatively closely as we move forward with these forums. The forums are something that they talked with us about and brought the idea to us, and we're trying to uh, move forward with it. Cool. Uh, by the way, I see a theme developing here because Purdue, uh, that's the Boilermakers, and a Boilermaker, we, <laughs> you know, we know what a Boilermaker is in bar, in, in bar terms. Right, so we got the Boilermaker, Tullamore mm -hmm. Dew, and we culminate in conversations oh, and cocktails. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and, it, and it's seven fifteen. That's that's pretty good. Well, listen, <laughs> it's it's five o'clock somewhere, Mark. It's five o'clock somewhere. When we come back, uh, I wanna I wanna kind of dive in uh, really to what uh, this first forum is all about, and I really want to talk about what our desired outcomes are and what the what kind of the hope is from this whole uh, from this whole uh, process uh, as we move forward. Is that cool? Cool. Cool. Mark Cunningham, Noel Carino talking. We are TR. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin back after this. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. 722, Bob, uh, if you're waiting for the time. All right. So uh, let's talk about uh, conversations and cocktails. Uh, the first one is coming up uh, in, uh, in, in like two weeks, right? Just under Thursday, September 29th. Okay. Um, and so that will be at six o'clock over at the Ocean County Library, the Tom's River branch on Washington street. And we're going to run it very succinctly. It's going to be about an hour long. Um, we're going to have a speaker or two to talk about, you know, to get us sort of warmed up to the idea that we're, we're aiming for. And we'll have a moderator. We want this to be a very positive experience for everybody. It will not be a free-for-all to uh, vent or anything along those lines. We're looking to uncover, you know, some un untapped resources, talk about good ideas, get people's energy flowing. Um, and so it will be run as such. So you have a moderator. Who's the – you have a moderator? Yes. So er Eric Lubin, who's on the Economic oh, okay. Development Committee gotcha. with us. Eric's a, a litigator, so we figured he'd be pretty good at uh, keeping manners on people. A barrister? Yeah. Yes, a barrister. <laughs> yeah. As he would say in Ireland. Yeah, Eric, yeah. Eric's a great guy, and he's going to keep things yeah, uh, moving some, up. You have somewhere to be, by the way? <laughs> along for us. Um, <laughs> so uh, with regards to how the forum works, the uh, – the Purdue guys are very insistent that we keep it positive, much like yourself at the moment, Jeremy, <laughs> trying to keep a, a light spin on things. Um, so, yeah, to keeping it positive, keep making sure that it doesn't turn into a, a, a bitching session, so right. to speak. Uh, a lot of people in any community are going to have issues or problems or things they want to get off their <clears throat> chest. This is not the place for that. Right. This, uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Jeremy. No, go ahead. This is this is. We're looking for positive, uh, positive ideas, positive contributions, and uh, that you know anything that is said will be done within, um, in, within this idea of mutual respect. That you know, even if you don't agree with someone, you're going to give them a little bit of time to to, to say what they're going to say, uh, and what, uh, share the ideas that they have, 
And uh, really, it's just about being positive. And the example that Ed Morrison from Purdue gave us when he was trying to explain this to us about how a forum like this would work was the uh, Continental Congress that formed this country. There was a lot of people in that room that didn't like one another and I really couldn't stand what the other guys had to say. But they found that with a set of rules and with mutual respect, they achieved arguably the most uh, important thing that was ever achieved within a, a public speaking forum, which right. is what, what is the United States. Right. And, and, and so this is... This this seems um, exponentially easier because we're not trying to form a whole country. No. Absolutely, we're just trying to form a river arts district. Right. We're just right. trying to talk about what it would even look like right. to right. form a river arts district. Gotcha. We're a way step back. But what's awesome is that there'll be people in the room. Um, we call them knowledge keepers. So um, they'll be keeping track of the great ideas, the people who come up, um, just so that if there are connections that can be made outside of that hour, that we can circle back and. Keep those in mind. So the question always is because we do a lot of these, we do a lot of these listening slash informational sessions, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we 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 gather a lot, we uh, we we plan a lot, uh, and then to play devil's advocate, the question always is, well, when do we execute? What comes of it, right? So what's your kind of what's your um, what's your idea of execution I mean what what how did what happens what are next steps looking like after you've gathered all this knowledge that that is a really really good question because we could talk all day about things but mm-hmm. not you know things don't happen unless people do things um, and that's really where the the advice from Purdue becomes invaluable and uh, what they have found in the communities they've worked in across uh, the United States that real change happens when people go into a, a structured process and uh, once an idea is uh, is accepted as a good one and it doesn't have to be a large number of people. Two or three or four or five people can can transform a town or a city and, and have done so. Um, but in any given project, a couple of people is all that it needs uh, to come about. So any of the ideas that come out of the forum um, will be offered the, the chance to go into the strategic doing process, which is something invented by Ed Morrison and run by him and Scott Hutchinson in Purdue University. Um, it's their job every day is to go out and find out what works for economic development. And this is what they have found with 30 years experience. The real thing uh, happens is when locals that have resources get together and decide they're going to do something. Yeah. And And this isn't about just finding the people with the ideas. It's finding the people who have the resources, as Mark said, to actually put some of this in action. And we're not trying to fight, you know, fight anybody over, over these things. We're just looking to create a little bit of momentum and a platform. Yeah. Cool. And often cool. out of fora, people will say, oh, that's a great idea. Let's go to the county. Let's go to the mm-hmm. township. Let's go no. f- get the politicians we, yeah. to do it. No, the politicians and the, the county are very welcome to be part of any process, but it's just about finding, you know, they can be an ingredient as a store owner will right, be an right. ingredient, as a person who has a particular set of skills or mm-hmm. an expertise is an ingredient. You know, it's just about putting people together, people that are already within a mile or two of the studio this morning, just having them reimagine what they have in a new very world. cool all right good so when we when we come back uh i want to get some of your ideas uh hear kind of what what you've kind of kicked around uh you know and maybe maybe get a preview of some other uh some other topics that we could look forward to in the months to come as we reimagine uh tom's river as part of the we rtr noel carino mark cunningham mark has somewhere to get to so we'll try to get him there <laughs> wake up with jeremy Brown and back after this The news is next, live from the WOBM Newsroom, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Live from the Jersey Shore to the world, get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Take the show wherever you go. Download the free Radio Pup app for your smartphone or tablet. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. 736, Monday, September 19, 74 degrees. Getting up to 75 today with thunderstorms. WOBM AM 1160, 1310. News Talk Radio, streaming live on the radio pop app and WOBMAM.com. 732-505-1160 to join the conversation. We are joined in studio by Mark Cunningham and Noel Carino. We are talking about We Are TR. You know, okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate for a second, all right? 
you know, we talk a lot about reimagining Tom's River. We're like, oh, it's so great here. But then do you ever wonder, like, maybe it's maybe it's just us. Maybe we're the only <laughs> one. Maybe maybe we think it's all cool and no. everything, but the rest of the world feels differently. Come on, Noelle. No, help me, help I me don't out with feel this. that way. And I'm going to tell you why, because I have a completely different perspective than Mark Cunningham, who just got here a few years ago. He came, you know. Right off the boat. Right off the boat. Yeah. Exactly. Checking his watch. Where am I supposed to be? Just out of curiosity, be? Mark, you're not living in the shadows, right? You're. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. No, okay, I, I can do radio shows. Okay, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Um, I grew up here, so much like many people, my parents moved us down here from a little further north up the parkway, and um, we got down here when I was maybe four or five. I went through the Tom Jura Regional Schools, um, which was a wonderful experience, and I moved away to go to college. And I never thought I would come back. I never thought I would come back. I was trying to get as far away as I could could go. And um, I got to Virginia and I said, I want to come home. So um, <laughs> it wasn't long before I was back and I ended up um, uh, back here. And so I think that there are a lot of people who are similar to me in that they were raised here. They love it here. They know deep in their hearts that this is a wonderful place with so much potential and not only potential, but there are just in general, there are wonderful things here already that exist already. We're just looking to take a wonderful place and elevate it a little bit. But I think that there are a lot of people who started in my shoes, have been here for many, many decades and um, want to see it through. The naughty monkeys? The, no. no, no, not, no. Those are just mine. No oh, one else oh, can have the shoes. naughty monkeys. Yeah, you were supposed to, <laughs> but as you recall, you were supposed to go through the man bun story here though. Oh shoot, yeah. yes, I'm sorry, I got Sidetrack. So go ahead. Why don't you give us the man bun story? So I don't want to talk about the man bun story, okay. but I do want to talk about Sup the River this weekend quickly. Um, so for anyone who doesn't already know, we at the Greater Tom's River Chamber of Commerce partnered with Ocean County College Foundation, the Barnegat Bay Partnership, Ocean County Department of Business Development and Tourism, and Grunin Holdings to bring um, our first annual Sup the River event. So Sup stands for Stand Up Paddleboard. Um, we were thrilled to have 75 paddlers out on a crystal clear river this weekend on Saturday morning. We did three races, a six miler, two miler, and a sprint race. And what was really interesting is that these paddle boarders, particularly the elite paddle boarders in that six mile group, um, of course they paddle the river, but they never imagined having an actual race on the river and taking advantage like we were able to the other day at the Tom's River Country Club. So these guys travel from race to race every weekend from May through September. This is a, a really important uh, part of their their passion. And they were just absolutely thrilled. And it, it really brought home to me mm. just how people don't realize these right. resources that we have um, and they don't take advantage of them nearly enough. Absolutely. Uh, that's great. It's a good story. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, so, okay. So we're doing this uh, this River District thing on the 29th. Uh, what, what, do we have any other topics queued up? Anything else? Like what could we, what could we maybe be looking forward to in the future? Well, that's uh, under discussion. Oh. And, and the beauty of this process is that if there's a lot of, of things, co you know, conversation around a particular area, then it'll get its own topic. But there, there are a lot of different things that we can talk about, how we might uh, like to frame a discussion. Um, I have a feeling that a lot of them are going to come back to downtown. Uh, so this one happens to be about how we might use arts to revitalize downtown. But um, we also may be able to use business to revitalize downtown, and there's already conversations going on to that. And um, so, really, where it goes from here is up to the people who come, and uh, you know, asking about uh, the level of enthusiasm out there, Jeremy. Uh, this has only been on social media for about two weeks. There's already there are already dozens of people signed up to come that had went. Wow, that's a great idea. Let's go have a conversation about what Tom's River might look like if downtown was a river arts district. Uh, there's there's definitely enthusiasm out there mm. for you know just in general talking to people about um, people who have heard about this in passing have called me up to say hey can I come when is it you know it it's it, it's a uh, it's somewhere what did Ed Morrison use he used a particular phrase that I thought was good it's it's giving doers somewhere to go cool right so yeah and there's a lot of doers in Towns River 
Are we going to take video of this thing at all? Or? So that's a great question. It, um, we were offered a video opportunity from a very generous local business owner here. We did decide against it, at least for this first one. We want um, people, there are a lot of new people. And who, you want it to be a safe zone. We want it to be yeah. a safe zone for people to come and feel safe. It is not a marketing thing. This is right. just a community, you know, open house. We don't want people to feel like so, it's a... So Socially Ever After isn't going to live stream it? Not this time. Oh, but okay. we'd love to have I'm somebody. only saying it for some selfish reasons because I'm going to be away next week and oh, I'm missing it right. and that makes me sad. Because it's and your birthday next it's week. It's my birthday and I'm going to be in Napa reimagining other things while I'm drinking wine. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to leave it yeah. at that. All well, right, folks. Where? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off, but you no, know, okay. the uh, we have to pay bills in a second. You got it. So uh, where do folks go to learn more? Is there a website? Is there anything mm-hmm. set up? What could, I, what could I look at to kind of wrap my head around this? Sure. So Dawn Malinowski of Social Trend created a website for us. It's um, found at wertr.com. Um, that will have the calendar of events. It will have some photos from the night. It has some great videos from Tom DeAngelis of the Production House about our great area. Um, it has our contact information, how the forum will be run, some resources that we come up with so that people have some directions to go. And, of course, you can find it on Facebook. Um, there'll be a, There is a Facebook event that you're welcome to join you're welcome to call any of us, email any of us to get the information. But wertr.com is really the best place. Wow, that's an awesome website. I Isn't just it went on to it. It is super cool. That wow. was the first time you were on it? No, I'm just saying <laughs> it for the, for the no, good of the radio no, community he, he, to show my Jeremy. excitement. He extensively researches the yeah. shows. And, and Mark's still checking. Still Mark's checking still checking the watch. time. So I guess we must be up against a break. Mark Cunningham, <laughs> Noel <laughs> Carino, thank you so I much for joining us this morning and talking about uh, We Are TR and uh, the forums that we will be begin starting uh, next week that is September 29th 6 p.m. followed by cocktails at Water Street Bar and Grill uh, that's uh, you, you got to pay for those yourself though we're not buying you cocktails right. right yeah just let's just be fair here we're just going over to have a, a you ride. know to have an adult you know like have a Pepsi or something <laughs> uh, thank you again for your <laughs> time thank this you, morning Jeremy. thanks Jeremy wake up with Jeremy Grunin back after this